Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Zach Talker Forever. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new how-to video. It's been a while since I, I've done that how-to video, but today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a how-to video on how to uh, install and set up the Nest Learning Thermostat. This is a really cool high-tech thermostat and very cool technology into this. And if you guys haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll leave a link in the description below to uh, check that out. And I'm gonna be going step by step on how to set up the Nest Thermostat thermostat gonna be uh pretty much setting up how to um turn off the power for the boiler how to uh, unplug and all the wiring from the old thermostat and put it into the new one and that's pretty much it it's pretty simple and then after that you're just gonna want to connect it to your wi-fi device and uh set it up the way that you want it to and it'll start to learn and adapt to the way it is so let's get right into the how-to video so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the circuit breaker and turn off the heating supply so there will be no power running off to the thermostat. Alright, so that's good. And then you're going to want to take out the old thermostat. I have a really old uh, Honeywell thermostat. And then you're going to want to look for the screws and pretty much unscrew it. And while you're doing that, you could check on your phone or you could have somebody else check on your phone to see if the wires are compatible with it. The thing is that you're going to want to have a low voltage thermostat so that will be good because if you have a high voltage thermostat it will not be compatible with Nest which really sucks but most people have a low voltage so it will be pretty much good. So then the next thing that you're going to want to do is check the wires and you're going to want to take it out usually it's tied up by a screw or something. So you're just going to want to loosen that screw and take out the wires. And you can see right there I have a red and white wire. You can't tell it's really white, but it is because it's really, really old. Then so you're going to want to go to your pretty much the installation guide. And they have the stickers to indicate what type of color it is. Just go by color indicators. And you're just going to want to tape it around the cable just, just for a little bit of help to show you what... Uh, what color it is and what it is it's optional but I like to do this for a little bit of organization and then what you're gonna want to do is get for me it's optional but I wanted to do this to get the trim kit and put that as well because um pretty much the paint I want to hide most of that paint and put the uh, put the mounting bracket on as well and you're just gonna want to screw them both in I made a hole just by screwing it in with the provided screwdriver that comes with which, which is really really cool it's both a flat hand and a Phillips hue so it's a Phillips screwdriver so you're just gonna want to get both of them and just screw them in nice and tight make sure that the, the water balance is balanced right in the middle on the uh, on the mountain bracket and you're just gonna want to go one more time and just make sure everything is nice and secure and you're going to want to make sure that the cables do as well. Then what you're going to want to do is, if you can, check your phone to see if where to uh, put all these cables in. It's usually by color indicator. But just to make sure, like what I did, what I'm showing you guys right now, is how it will look. And that's what I'm doing as of right now. And then I just push the cables more into the, into the hole right there. Pause. <laughs> and you're going to pretty much make everything nice and secure. Then you're going to want to get the display. And you see that little connector right there. It's going to align it perfectly. I had a little bit of trouble in it. Because you're supposed to press firmly. And then hear like a little click. And pretty much I muted the audio on all of this. But then you're going to want to make sure that it's nice and secure. Which it is. And there you go. And then you want to gonna go back to the boiler. And go to the circuit breaker. And then turn it back on. And uh, you'll pretty much be set. And then everything... Make sure that everything else is powered on and then everything will be good and then you're going to want to start uh, pretty much setting it up by putting English, obviously, US, internet connection because it is it is going to be need to connect to uh, your Wi-Fi device. So it's to connect to the internet for remote control, uh, local weather, things like that. So you're just going to want to use the dial and scroll down to the provide pretty much your Wi-Fi name which is Perez family for me then you want to set the password which I skipped because I don't want you guys to know my password then it's set, set it's gonna be checking for the Nest update and it is up to date which is good it's good how it does that automatically so you don't have to do any other actual work that much and look for your local connection and uh, not local connection and 
pretty much that is not where I live. North America, USA, of course. Put your zip code, which I also skipped because I don't want you guys to know that as well. Heating and cooling. Are you a professional Nest installer? No, I'm a homeowner. So we're just going to press that. And it says equipped it, detected. So it's heat and power. So the red one is power, the white one is heat. Your system heating continue. There you go. It also works with cooling and it says what fuel source for your heating. I put gas because that's what my heating is. Gas, what type of heating do you have? I have the radiators. So just set that and just press onto it. Nest is now configured for your system, which is good. Just continue. Your system is ready to test. You can test it now or test it later from settings. I tested it now. And what I heard was the boiler started to turn on and pretty much press heating and said it should be warming up. Make sure that the valves are open. This might take a few minutes and then it does. And then I just press continue. It has been turned off. You can actually hear it, but I didn't put the audio as well. Your system select is ready. Then you put please describe this location multifamily. So that's what I put. And then where is your thermostat? Mine is in the living room. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then you could just set it to the type of liking temperature that you want. You want it really cool. You want it really high up. And then after this, it's going to be selecting the temperature. And it says, what is the lowest temperature you would like when you are away? For me, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I took like a random number, maybe like 55. I was going to put like 65. But I was like, nah, 55 is pretty good. Especially since it's spring and it's about to be summer as well but done you can always change it and then your adjustments have helped nest learn which is really good temperature sensors need some time to calibrate automatically so it will take a couple of few days after setting it and then there you guys have it i'm gonna want to set it to 75 right now because it's really cold and then you can see that it goes orange so that's really cool you guys so there you have it very simple very easy on how to set up the nest uh learning temp uh, thermostat Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Zach Soccer Forever, and I'm out. Peace.